create athletes or apparel um, to come, to push that message. Um, so you'll see certain pieces with a be kind to yourself on there, you know, just to remind yourself mm. that, you know, you have to be kind to yourself in the process and self-talk is important. So always speaking positive things to yourself or it's just so many different ways to be kind to yourself. Right. But that's just one example. Or you might see a, a T-shirt or a pride T-shirt, which, which is like one of our most popular shirts. And it's just, you know, got the Pan-African uh, colors, you know, just representing that what Marcus Garvey started back in the day. You know, so it's just different, you know. You might see a different slogan, just different imagery, just empowering and, 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 and enlightening and even questioning. Like, you know, you might wear a T-shirt and somebody be like, man, I like that. You know, what, what does that mean? You know, so it's a conversation starter. It's, it's just a lot of different things. And we also do programs and they uh, so like pop-ups or just mm-hmm. events or, you know, we'll, we'll uh, have, we have a conversation series called Are You Aware Combos? where we just have, you know, different thought leaders or different people who are thinking in a new thought way um, and has they have their own spiritual journey and, you know, and we want, to, we, want, we want them to share that. So it's kind of similar to you guys' platform. It's just talking about, you know, um, growing and, and, and being aware of self and all of that. So that's kind of, you know, the lane and the medium and where we express that. Yeah, that was um, that was a, that ex- that was an extremely quotable uh, moment by my brother Drew. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, it's so funny. Like we just started out with, ma- you know, making hats, right? The hat set, yeah. very simple. Instead of wear, we were selling it like just hand to hand transactions, like out, out of the trunk, like we like to say. Mm-hmm. And you know, people they were intrigued by the word because I think the word aware has it has so many different connotations, so many different depths to it, right? Like okay. we were we were dancing with the idea of, of consciousness, but you know, consciousness has its own kind of negative connotations in some ways. It kind of has a box to it, right? Aware is just like, you could be aware, like you said, you could be aware of yourself, you could be aware of your surroundings, aware of your culture, aware of your lineage. There's so many different things to be aware of. And you know, you wearing it, you know, shows that you're aware, but then when other people see it, they're either going to ask the question, like Drew said, like, what are you aware of? You know, what does aware mean to you? Mm -hmm. And it can start an amazing conversation that way. So it's just, it works on so many different levels, you know what I mean? So we're just, we're just so happy to see it growing, you know, the way that is. We really, it it reinforces the idea that we we were onto something, you know, those few years ago. That's a really interesting thing that you just said right there. Um, I have a couple of military buddies that have done different um, like Spartan races and things of that capacity where it's like, you know, one Spartan race might be like 5K, 10K, 15K or whatever, but there's like a kind of like triathlon. I don't know the right words, whatever. There's like a certain thing where like they do like a power weekend where it's all three races and they do it in an effort to raise money for military research that is actually using these different substances of like shrooms or mdma and things of that capacity to help with ptsd um and one of my close buddies just finished doing one of those last year and helped raise enough money with it so that they could green light one of those programs so i'm curious to like know your understanding about these different like substances and how we're clinically using them today and what made you guys kind of say like we want to raise awareness about that as well and kind of promote that underneath our brand yeah that's great um so there's so many different modalities or approaches you know to healing right so we wanted to as the aware brand we wanted to definitely highlight a few of those different um approaches so when it comes to you know the the psychoactive drugs the, you know they basically they help you to well the different ones work differently right but the ma- the main thing is to kind of help you understand the content of your mind you know what i mean like it kind of puts what you're thinking and what you're feeling on display and in on display in a in a truthful way that you can't deny right i think a lot of times we deny you know what we're feeling we push it we push it down we put it under the rug and you know over time that accumulates right and that manifests as you know physical or mental you know disease right mm-hmm. so when you take these 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 psychoactive you know substances right because like when we say drugs like it's people it, it's kind of polarizing right like people kind of feel away like oh yeah i don't do drugs drugs are wrong but if we like psychoactive substance right so whether it be smoking weed, whether it be taking a shroom, whether it be, um, you know, using something like Iboga, which is in the West, uh, West Africa, you know, these these different things have they work different, you know, and they work different with, you know, with at which each, with each and every one of us. So, what's Iboga? Yeah, just, you know, 
Yeah, iboga is iboga is um they use it like, they use a derivative I believe in America um called ibogaine that's used for like um sus- substance abuse mainly. It's 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 slightly different than shrooms and like ayahuasca and that it's um they call it um it's more stern. They call it like the stern father. It's like it puts your truth up in a way that it's like kind of harsh that you can't really deny. Okay. Um as opposed to like those other substances, it's like kind of like dreamy, like a dream state kind of thing. Um. But yeah, it just basically makes you see the truth of, of yourself, right? In a way that helps you to 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 deal with it, um, so you can heal. So we were just so interested in like the healing aspects of of these plant substances. So let me ask I you guys that. this: yeah. in like your that. in your process of saying, okay, we also have seen a hole in our community, and we recognize that we want to put out something to our community that's going to provide this kind of elevation or this affirmation of wellness. How are you guys personally, individually, collectively um, checking your own wellness with being these new designers, you know, taking on this whole new kind of business platform? Like how are how did you guys approach this? What did you do before you were uh, clothing designers? And like, how is this like now integrated into your lives? What's what's been that journey? So in my my 40 hour week job is I actually work in mental health. I've been working in mental health for, for about nine years. So. And then I've always been an artist, always been a creative. So, like, the Aware brand allows me to, you know, get my rocks off, you know, that way. Because, like, usually I'm, I'm more so in my in my left brain, you know what I mean, helping people to navigate their own, like, internal storms and things like that. So, Aware brand allows me to, you know, get into my creative bag, which is a form of self-help uh, and self-care, you know, in and of itself. Um, but, like, wellness-wise, you know, like, I make sure I stretch in the morning, make sure I meditate. You know, like I meditate now that the weather's getting nice. I just open up my screen door and I hear the birds chirping and stuff and just meditate like that. You mm. know, uh, I'm a big journaler. You know, I've been journaling for years, you know, like wherever, I'm, whatever I'm feeling. Yeah. And, you know, it's happening with my brother, Drew. You know, he always, you know, somehow I mean, we've known each other for a long time. So he always kind of knows, like, when I need a good word, you know, and I think vice versa as well. Like you have to have people that you trust, you know, you trust their opinion. You know, what I mean, you trust their perspective to help you through, you know. When you're going through the, the, up and, the ups and downs of being like a business owner, entrepreneur. I love that. I love that. Um, That's so true. Go ahead, Very important. Go. What do you do, Drew? What is your way of keeping up with your wellness with all of the new, uh, this new addition, adding um, Aware brand to your daily life? How are you continuously healing thyself and keeping up with your wellness? Man, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, because we do pour out a lot of energy into, Mm -hmm. you know, putting the message out to others, but who's pouring back into us or how do we pour back into us? And I think for me, like, I try to keep, I mean, mind, body, and soul, right? That's the holy trinity to me, right? That's how I feel like if I'm, like, doing something under those three umbrellas, so for the mind, I'm either reading some, some type of literature or watching some YouTube video, whatever the case may be, that's gonna keep, you know, the mind going and keep the wheels turning up top, right? And then for the fits for body, I'm working out. You know, I'm um I'm I'm in, I'm in the gym at least four to five days out the week. You know, what I mean that's my stress reliever. That's for me to you know let out that anger a little bit or just not, I wouldn't even say anger, but frustration or or just the the, the blockages that I may have. You know, I me mean? my body get the blood flowing. Movement is so important. As a creative and as an entrepreneur, you got to move the body. So, I mean, that's one of the things I do. Um, and then for spiritual, <clears throat> I mean, our soul, you know, meditation, like Richard said, journaling. Richard was actually one of the first guys, our first people to put me on to journaling back when I was like 25. So, like, I've been consistently doing that and just getting the feelings out and getting the thoughts out that way. So, um, I mean, yeah, so I try, I try to keep all three of those things in line, you know, mind, body, and soul. And um, I just recently... Uh, join the Tai Chi class. So oh, like, look at yeah. you! <laughs> yeah, so I'm learning how to move my energy and and you know just like I said, movement is so important. So, uh, so yeah, and so that's what I'm doing to keep my awesome. mind straight, you know, healing myself and getting to those roots because we all, you know, we all evolving every day. So, for sure. Now let's get back into the Aware brand. I want to ask you guys um, just a few more questions. Whereas we're coming up on about 20 more minutes left, um, but I do want to ask you where do you guys see the aware brand in the next five years and what can we look forward to see coming out of of your brand you know yeah i mean um you know we have a, a relationship with full locker right now we have a partnership mm-hmm. with them so uh, we definitely see um congratulations on that by the way i remember seeing that, <laughs> um, to that. yeah that's amazing uh, i know that you guys are selling your clothing out in foot locker in detroit 
can you tell them which Foot Locker in Detroit they yeah, can yeah, find? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're actually in two locations. Well, it's not. I mean, we're, we're in one location in Detroit. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. in the in East Point. So okay. uh, you guys is off of East 8 Mile. So if you guys are in the, in the Detroit area, definitely go to the east side of Detroit. Go console mm-hmm. here at the community store at Foot Locker. Um, but we're also in the Washington Heights right now, too. Um, it's on 181st and Broadway uptown so up in, in new york, york. City. yeah in new york city yeah that's so, awesome congratulations yeah. that's amazing guys yep, yep, yep. and then we okay. also like we just expanded so we we got we, we're going to be in six more foot lockers um in new york city to come Woo-hoo. top of july so uh, definitely look out that look out for that and then we'll yeah. post the locations <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so the goal is really in the next five you know in the next couple of years really just to grow with with them as well it's just like being pretty much every market you know they got yes. 3500 stores across the world so yes. we could be in all of them you know what i mean that's the goal yes, you know that's so the goal. Um, but um just building that relationship with them um keep putting out you know amazing pieces directly to for our consumers um creating more opportunity opportunities and platforms to educate enlighten and empower which is our which are those are our, our pillars, you know, me of the brand. We want to, you know, mm-hmm, we still mm-hmm. want to be community based. Um, definitely some more, uh, some actually standalone stores, like our, our own brick and mortar, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely, yeah. I definitely can see that. Um, I also want to mention again why we do this room, why we created the Wellness Wednesdays. Um, it started out of the pandemic and just being able to have the opportunity to, to connect with other like-minded creatives and recognize that we needed to continue to push forward and continue to keep going, continue to keep creating. But in that process of doing that in such a tra- traumatic season, we decided, Ailey came to her, that we should create a an amazing box, like something that we can gift to creatives to continue to help them push, push forward. And with that was born the creative wellness box. Um, And from that, we wanted to start a conversation about that box. And so that's where the chat room came from. I want to give a second to let Ely talk about the creative box and what's in it for this season, the Spring Sublime. If you want to take that away, Ely, let them know where they can find the box and how they can get their hands on it. For sure, yeah. So I feel like you threw threw that a little reverse. So I'm going to bring that back. But it's called the Sublime (laughs) Spring Box. And this is a collection of a lot of different artists that I personally uh, have worked with or know or admire that are in the industry that have their own side hustles and really great products coming out of it. So for example, within this new collection, there's different things, um, including a glow oil, which is great for men and women's skin. It's just kind of to help you with your moisture and it leaves a nice finish on top of your skin, making you look refreshed and dewy. There's also practical tools in there to help you get those freelance jobs done. So there's a pocket monkey in there, um, which is a a tool, a multi-tool that can be a flat lay in your wallet. Um, There's different pieces of meditative guided rituals in there. There's fine art in the box by yours truly. Um, And then there's always some level of decadent treat in there. So this season's collection has a cacao rose herbal tea um, by a woman in town named brandy and she has the just add honey brand it's right off of the belt line you guys might have seen it amazing tea shop amazing woman so it's a a, it was a way for me to be able to bring together all of these dope artists that i've met and i respect and say hey you know let's give out care packages to the other individuals in town you know what i mean one of the things that i personally missed in 2020 was the like farmers markets the artist markets that are starting to pop up again now and so this is an opportunity for those creatives to still get their work to your doorstep and to give you some slice of self-care so check it out um it's on my website elephoto.com store you can find that in the different collections there's the wellness winter collection and there's the sublime spring once they're gone they're gone and i'm getting ready to ramp up for the summer collection so maybe there's something where richard and drew can put something in the box Mm -hmm. we'll see um but definitely check that out the link is in my clubhouse bio so definitely support the community and support yourself